You're watching the Weather Network, covering weather and environmental issues 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exclusively on cable. And welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Sims with you this hour. Well, as you head out to start your work or school week, as soon as you get out that door, the wind chills are staggering for major destinations across the country. Here's what's in store for Halifax, St. John, Montreal, Toronto, minus 30 around. That's what the temperatures will feel like. And the same for out west and in Atlantic Canada. Starting with the east across Canada now, we see Atlantic Canada with still some clear skies into Newfoundland, some patchy cloud and still moderate to strong westerlies continue. Mainly cloudy across Nova Scotia with some uh, fog developing in Halifax Harbor and for New Brunswick, clear to the north with still a bit of cloud across Moncton and St. John. As for southern Quebec, we've got cloudy skies now, precipitation beginning overnight, but light precipitation only. It's a very weak system you see here. It's, uh, it's going to move across the region, but behind it is circulation of northwesterly winds. And with that, snow squall activity continuing in Barrie, Muskoka, all across Owen Sound, Wharton, into the uh, Elgin regions. North of Toronto in Niagara, some light precipitation there. It will continue overnight. Snow squall warning on the lee side of Lake Huron, Georgian Bay. Weather advisory, blowing snow conditions, cold temperatures across Windsor, through to Toronto. Northwestern Ontario, clearing. It's just a narrow ridge of high pressure with a weak trough over Manitoba. We're going to see some light precipitation towards the northeast. Beginning to break up now in the southwest. Saskatchewan and Alberta clear but cold. The wind chill advisory north of Edmonton into the Fort McMurray region. As you can see in our satellite image, it will remain clear overnight. This trough extends into the U.S. It's a week as it gathers uh, strength, or weak right now. It's not gathering any more strength as it approaches the coast of B.C. Variable skies tonight. And with that, some stronger winds and very cold winds at that. An Arctic outflow warning for the north central coast, including the lower Fraser Valley, and now to the Sunshine Coast also. Temperatures below seasonal, ranging overnight between 0 and minus 5. Stay tuned, stay with us. Lots more to come. This Weather Network report also includes conditions reported within the hour in major centers across Canada. Conditions reported in major centers across the United States. So for the past while, our headline at this hour has been uh, basically very cold conditions. Moderate to strong northwesterlies bringing severe wind chills tonight across Ontario, Quebec. Feel like between minus 30 and minus 40. And now they're moving towards Atlantic Canada. First of all, the Maritimes. Temperatures plummeting to minus 13 in the afternoon. These are your daytime highs. Minus 15 to minus 20. It will feel like minus 25 in many areas of New Brunswick. That's 10, 15 degrees below seasonal. Halifax, a possibility of flurries and the same for Charlottetown. Light snow into eastern Newfoundland. Montreal and Sherbrooke and even Ottawa, minus 21 across the board, even for Quebec City. Variable skies, a possibility of flurries for the eastern townships. In the afternoon it remains and variable skies continue with only a 20% chance of light snow, minus 15 across the board. As for southern Ontario, still with moderate to strong northwesterlies, Kingston minus 20, some variable skies in Barrie. We could see some snow squall activity continuing in the afternoon, morning and afternoon. For both uh, these regions, Lake Huron, Georgian Bay, and Superior East in the Sault Ste. Marie, Windsor minus 13, as I mentioned here, minus 25. Very cold as we approach Timmins, Kapuskasing, minus 30 to minus 22 for your daytime high and a possibility of flurries. Northwestern Ontario, no snow expected, but still variable skies, minus 28, and your daytime maximum reaching minus 20 will feel like minus 25. There too, wind chills, very severe. 
This regional report includes your detailed local forecast covering both the short term and long range. This Weather Network report also includes the latest conditions reported in other centers in your region. And these are the latest weather observations for some centers in the United States. You're watching the Weather Network. Here's your chance to Ask the Expert on Canada's Weather Network. Time now for Ask the Expert, your chance to ask climatologist David Phillips about weather-related topics. Several viewers in Ontario and Prince Edward Island are curious about winter thunderstorms. Occasionally, a winter thunderstorm arrives when advancing warm air from the south overrides retreating cold air at the surface, as you might see ahead of a warm front. The warm air is slowly but gradually forced aloft. In being lifted, it becomes destabilized. Air cools, clouds form, and thunder may be heard. Generally, you do not see lightning because the widespread low cloud obscures the towering thunderclouds rising from it. Occasionally, when you hear muffled thunder, it's snowing, and that can be pretty exciting. Winter thunderstorms are much less severe than their summer cousins. They also can occur at any time of day and night. Winter thunderstorms are rare in Canada. For example, in 30 years of weather records at Edmonton and Regina, not a single thunderstorm was reported, and only four were reported in Winnipeg. In eastern Canada, winter thunderstorms are more frequent because the tropical air associated with these systems is more prevalent. If you live in the east, the chances of hearing winter thunderstorms with snow is about one per winter. kids these days. All across Canada you'll find them hanging around, shooting, and going downhill fast. When you support the 1995 Canada Games, you'll be supporting these young athletes as they vie for this country's top honor. So be a part of the 1995 Canada Games in Grand Prairie, Alberta. You'll be helping a lot of kids who are in over their heads. This Weather Network local forecast is brought to you by Delco Batteries. In extreme cold, count on Delco Batteries. Dependable power.
to me. No one else on the earth. hottest music of the 90s. Standing outside the bar. Only on Canada's Music Channel, NCN, the new country network. Welcome back, everyone, to your international report. First of all, with a satellite image of Europe. This is the major weather maker. It's a large, large frontal system bringing lots of rain to the coast, north coast of Spain, to Portugal, and the west coast, into France and Germany. Some scattered showers now. It will increase overnight. And for Italy, some variable skies and scattered clouds bringing uh, scattered showers throughout the day. Otherwise, it's going to be clearing. The same for southern England. Clear skies now over London with some scattered flurries towards Scandinavia. The Southeast Asia, increasing clouds to Tokyo, Japan with some showers. South Korea, we have some showers right now. Into Indonesia, some scattered thunder showers. Clear in the Philippines, clear in Indochina. As for Australia, mainly clear in the major destinations including Perth, Melbourne, Sydney, and some scattered cloud over New Zealand. Stay tuned. Now forecast for major cities around the world for Sunday. We'll begin these international forecasts for tomorrow in the British Isles. These forecasts are for other major cities across Europe. Moving south across the Mediterranean, these are forecasts for other major cities. These forecasts cover major centers across the Pacific Rim. These are forecasts for tomorrow for Australia and New Zealand. And these forecasts cover some of the major cities in South America.